the realm. Do you know what the realm is? It's the thousand blades of Aegon's enemies. A story we agree to tell each other over and over till we forget that it's a lie. What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for another Game of Thrones House of the Dragon update video. Well my friends, it looks like George R. R. Martin has given us another update about the first season of House of the Dragon over on his Not A Blog website. In this video, I will show you what he said because this new update shows us exactly who has been writing HBO's new Game of Thrones successor show. Over on George R. R. Martin's Not A Blog, he said House of the Dragon has great showrunners in Ryan Condal and Miguel Sapochnik. And it has an amazing cast as well. You have been reading about them for months. Matt Smith, Emma Darcy, Millie Alcock, Olivia Cook, Patty Considine, Emily Carey, Reese Ifans, Steve Toussaint, Fabian Frankel, and more and more. You may not know their names now, but I think you will before the year ends. You will hate some of them, love some of them, and mourn for some of them. There's another group of contributors, equally important, whose names you might not know either. But you should. Without them, there would be no show. If there was, it certainly would not be as good as I think House is going to be. Here are the folks I am talking about. Yes, it's the writers. House of the Dragon is based on my novellas The Princess and the Queen, and The Rogue Prince, and other materials from my Targaryen history, Fire and Blood. But Fire and Blood is an imaginary history, not a traditional novel. To turn it into a television series requires a lot more work than adapting a novel or a short story. The script writers need to make the history come alive. Ryan Kondo assembled an amazing team to do just that. The photograph above was taken during one of my visits to LA, the last I think, before COVID descended on us all and shut down my travels. When I sat down with Ryan and his writers for dinner. It was a big, loud, lively dinner at a long table, but the food was great and the company was greater. I love talking the dragons with the team, and I was impressed with the depth of their knowledge of my world and their enthusiasm for the project. The first season of House is now wrapped, and in large part thanks to the talents of our scribes. So raise your glasses and toast our writers. Sarah Hess, Gabe Fonseca, Ira Parker, Ty McKell, Charmaine DeGreat, Kevin Lau, and Eileen Shim. And of course, Ryan Condal himself, the Ringmaster and Dragon Tamer. Oh, and though they are not in the photo, I should also salute Claire Keechel and Wes Took, who joined Ryan and Ty in the mini writer's room that preceded this one before there was even a pickup. And me, you ask? No, I did not write a script for the first season of House. I would have loved to, but I have been kinda busy with Winds of Winter, the other Game of Thrones successor shows, various Wild Cards books, Dark Winds for AMC, Roadmarks for HBO, Night of the Cooters, and a couple other really cool Howard Waldrop projects, and well, yeah, okay, I bought a railroad, never mind. Now I did co-create the series with Ryan and help give it its shape, and he and I have been in constant contact ever since. Hollywood is a land of change, and the writers are always moving around in today's television landscape. Some of the folks in the photo above have moved on to other shows and other networks before season one of House even began to film. Others have been with us all the way through the first season, and will be joining us for the second season, if indeed HBO gives us another one, cross your fingers. So here's to the writers. Alright, so there you have it ladies and gentlemen. You should now have an even better idea of who actually wrote the first season of House of the Dragon. Unfortunately, George did not write an entire episode in this first season like he did on Game of Thrones. But like he said, he has been of some help, as you can see here. According to George, he helped give the series its shape, and I'm sure he helped Ryan head in the right direction since he says they were in constant contact with one another. Now thankfully he says he is still writing The Winds of Winter, although, as we all know, he has said that for many, many years. I'm not exactly sure if that means we are any closer to actually getting that novel. Now another interesting thing he said was he is also still helping create some of the other Game of Thrones successor shows. Now your guess is as good as mine in regards to what those other shows might actually be about. As I've said before, I would watch a show on just about anything set within George R. R. Martin's universe. I would love to see a show about Aegon and his sister wives, and I would even still love to see a show about the original Long Night. Although I do doubt that HBO will ever revisit that idea again, considering they already wasted $30 million on a pilot episode that will likely never see the light of day. For now, let's just hope that House of the Dragon is an amazing show first, then I think we can start to worry about what the other shows will focus on from George R. R. Martin's A Song of Ice and Fire universe. 
Let's hope that everyone working on House of the Dragon will avoid making the same mistakes David and Dan made with Game of Thrones. I doubt that any of them want to face that kind of backlash on this size of a stage. I will stay optimistic about everything until they give me a reason not to. If George R. R. Martin is excited about House of the Dragon, then there is no reason why I shouldn't be either. Make sure you subscribe now if you want to stay up to date on any and all information regarding Game of Thrones, House of the Dragon, and A Song of Ice and Fire. There will be many more videos to follow. As always, I want to thank all of you for watching this video. I hope you all have a great day. I'll see you soon. Bye.